just reached a target, which in this case is a pair of trawling vessels. Okay. Um, these guys are generally fishing for sea bass in these waters. More than 1,200 dead dolphins and porpoises have washed up on the shores of France since January. Hundreds more than the same period in previous years. They're going to float the net and we're going to stand by and see what they have. France has one of the largest fishing fleets in the EU. But despite European laws protecting dolphins, there are no penalties for fishermen who inadvertently catch dolphins in their fishing equipment. Have you dealt with these guys before? Yeah, so yesterday they had two dolphins in one net. Boat's coming our way. The second boat in this pair just tried to block us from being able to see what's in the net by basically just cutting us off entirely. Were there any dolphins in that net? No, there were no dolphins in this net. Sea Shepherd, a marine conservation nonprofit, patrols the waters in the Bay of Biscay to monitor fishermen. I can see them under the water. They're a whole bunch. For the past three months, we've counted 1,200 dead dolphins on the beaches, and very often, actually, the fishermen slice them open to make them sink. So what we see on the beaches of France is only the tip of the iceberg. What exactly is Sea Shepherd doing to address the issue? So one of the main issues is that France doesn't make it mandatory for the fishermen to have observers on board. What we decided as Sea Shepherds, OK, we are going to be these observers that the fishermen don't want, and that the government doesn't want. At the Pelagis Observatory in La Rochelle, scientists are gathering as much information as they can by bringing washed-up dolphins back to the lab and slicing into them. This is a common dolphin. OK. Uh, this is a male. It was collected uh, a few weeks ago in the south of France. Most of the individuals uh, stranded along the French coast during this winter, killed by uh, killed in fishing gears, were in very good body condition. Does that make you sad to, be, to have to deal with a dead animal that was healthy? Yeah, of course. Uh, one day I had to, to do the exam on 26 common dolphins on the same day. 26. So at the end of the day, it's a bit, it's a bit hard. How bad is it for the dolphin population right now? The demographic models we use to uh, predict the population uh, show that it's not sustainable right now. So this could really hurt this yeah. species yeah. in the long run. Yeah, and the problem is that if we start to see a decline in the population, it's going to be too late. Many of the dolphins that end up at Pelagis look healthy. The researchers say 90% of them died from fishing-related injuries, usually from asphyxiation after getting caught so, in fishing gear. First, we're going to remove the lung okay. to just open it and have a look. And we can see, I think we're going to see the, the sign of asphyxia. asphyxia. How do you tell that, that a dolphin was asphyxiated based on their lungs? It's because the, the lungs is full of blood. So all of that, that stuff yeah. indicates that it was yeah. probably death by fishing gear. Yeah, not probably. We are sure that it's a death in the fishing gear. Do you think the fishermen are doing enough right now to prevent this from happening? No. We would like them to be more active and involved in the right. process. D'accord. Okay. José Junot is the president of a regional fishing committee. He fished these waters for 32 years, and now he's pushing back on scientists and activists. Les pêcheurs, pour eux, c'est pas une partie de plaisir de pêcher un dauphin quand, quand malheureusement ça arrive. D'après vous, la cause des échouages, c'est quoi Très franchement, j'en ai aucune idée. Euh, le, la pêche dans le golfe de Gascogne est partagée par euh, énormément de pêcheurs français qui pratiquent euh, de toutes les régions, mm -hmm. mais pas que. On a des navires aussi qui ont deux, par d'autres états. Hein. Parce que en ce moment, ce que les scientifiques au centre Pélagis et les, les, les gens au, de, qui font partie de Sea Shepherd suggèrent, c'est de mettre des caméras sur les bateaux. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez de ça Mais on n'a déjà pas tellement d'intimité, vous vous rendez compte Alors là, si on met des caméras, ce coup-là, on va être vraiment dans, dans, considéré vraiment comme des bannières. Ben, C'est-à-dire le fait d'accepter de mettre des caméras, ça veut dire que c'est nous qui supportons l'entière responsabilité de ce, de ce carnage. 
Chez les Russes aujourd'hui qui pêchent un peu n'importe où, n'importe comment, les Chinois, personne ne va les embêter. Eux. Si le gouvernement français dit « OK, tous les bateaux dans nos mers, que, que vous soyez français ou autre, de, vous devez avoir une caméra, est-ce que vous seriez d'accord? » Non, pas pour le moment, non. Non? Non. Là, aujourd'hui, on est vraiment passé pour des, des déviants, c'est-à-dire qu'on tue par plaisir. Et quelque part, on le vit très, 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 très mal. What exactly is the solution here? What do you want the government to do? We have to ban these fishing methods, especially these places where we know that they are such a crucial habitat for dolphins. We have to, to protect them. Dolphins are a protected species in, in the EU, but it's only a protection on paper. I've spoken to some of the fishermen and they tell me that they feel like they're being painted as monsters. So we are not portraying anyone like anything. We are showing what's happening on the scene. We are showing what is being hidden. Fishermen are responsible for that. 